Need to move files between your Android and Mac? Look no further. This video explores both wired and wireless solutions for conquering cross-platform file transfers. First up, let's explore wired method for file sharing. I've got a zip file here and I'll be transferring it from my Android device to my MacBook using a USB cable. Open the terminal and type ADB shell. If you don't have ADB installed, simply type brew install Android platform tools to get it. ADB shell functions as the file manager for your Android device. Use the CD command to navigate directories. Typing CD slash SD card opens the internal memory. A quick ls shows all the files on my Android device. Here's the limbo.zip file that I'm copying to my Mac. To copy the file, exit adb and use the command adb pull filename underscore with underscore directory. In our case, it's adb pull slash sd card slash limbo.zip. And there you have it, file successfully copied from Android to Mac. Now, what if you want to share a file from your Mac to Android? Open the terminal in the file directory and use the command adb push filename. In my case, it's adb push upload keystore.jks slash sd card. Check your Android device. The file is successfully pushed. Method number second. It's the easiest way to move files between Android and Mac. Just head over to the official Android website and download the Android file transfer tool. It works seamlessly over MTP, allowing you to see all the files on your connected device. While you can't directly copy files using this tool like in Windows, you can easily drag and drop them. Let me quickly demonstrate dragging this file to the desktop. Easy and quick, right? Now let's talk about option number three, wireless file sharing. To share files wirelessly, connect both devices to the same Wi-Fi network. Open your developer options from settings, enable wireless debugging in developer options and note down the provided IP and port number. On your computer, open the terminal and type ADB connect your IP and port number. As you can see, the device is connected successfully. Verify the connection with ADB devices. Now you can transfer files wirelessly with ADB commands I showed earlier. This wireless connection remains active as long as you're on the same Wi-Fi network. Personally, I find this wireless method quite handy for sharing files between Android and Mac OS. While ADB may not be the simplest method, it's undeniably cool and powerful. That wraps up today's video. I'll include some basic ADB commands in the video description. And stay tuned for future videos where I'll explore file sharing using FTP. Until next time, happy transferring.